or welcome back to Life on the Branch. Uh, today, uh, I wanted to talk about why you should never buy uh, hamster treats. Um, so, this is my hamster Rocky's enclosure down here. Uh, I don't think you can see it. It's my hamster butter. Um, but, uh, one of the things we do on our hamster videos playlist is try to make homemade treats for our hamsters. Uh, some of them have been really easy and our hamsters have loved them. Some of them have been really hard and our hamsters have loved them. And some of them have been easy and nobody likes it or hard and nobody likes it and that's the worst. <laughs> um, but the reason I wanted to uh, talk about this topic is not really because you can like make things at home. Not everybody has the time. Although I will mention uh, some of those recipes at the end that our hamsters really like. Uh, I wanted to bring up this topic because who doesn't want to save a little money? Um, hamster treats, pretty much everything hamster, uh, can get expensive. And hamster treats aren't particularly nutritious. Um, so you, you really like are buying something that's not really adding anything to their diet. Um, when you probably already have things that can be used as hamster treats in your house, um, which I'm going to show you by like just going to my kitchen and like showing you what I can use as treats. This is like an unprepared thing. Like these are just things we have um, that we can feed our hamsters uh, to give them a little treat and that our hamsters like. Um, so for a full list of like healthy foods and unsafe foods for hamsters, I'm going to link to Victoria Rochelle's video down uh, in the comment section down below. Um, and I'm going to be talking about just a few of those because I've tried them and my hamsters like them. So um, something we recently tried was strawberries. Um, so I'll include a little clip of uh, Butter enjoying a strawberry here. So cute. Love her. Um, additionally, uh, we use a lot of different types of, of berries. Um, blackberries um, are a fave. Raspberries are also um, a fave. Uh, if you want proof of raspberries being a fave, you can see Butter's birth or gotcha video, birthday gotcha video, which I'll link up here. Um, another great option if you're looking to stay away from uh, the more sugary um, fruits, uh, because although fruits can actually provide a good amount of nutrition, you can't really give them fruits all the time because of the amount of sugar in the fruit. Um, and if they get too used to the sweetness, the same thing happens with store-bought treats. Uh, they're going to be less interested in the more like savory seeds um, and the protein pellets that you use. Um, so another option is to go the veggie route. So uh, something that like we have all the time because we make a lot of soup um, is carrots and celery. And pretty much everybody likes carrots. Uh, celery is a little hit or miss. We have four hamsters. Um, some of our hamsters like really like the celery. Others don't. Um, so that one you can try. Um, we've also been using um, this like organic baby carrot food puree thing um, for our hamster butter whose teeth don't work that well. So and she just loves loves that stuff. It's in the birthday video, um, but she loves that. Uh, another thing that you can do to spice up your hamster's diet is instead of going for like a treat, um, you can also go for like a meal replacer. So that would be something like uh, more protein based. Something that our hamsters uh, have enjoyed is um, scrambled eggs. Um, you don't want to give too much scrambled eggs to your hamster, um, but you can save the scrambled eggs. Like make one, 
give a little bit to each of your hamsters and then put them in the fridge and then you can use them sporadically. Um, you don't want to give them every day, um, but they are a good option for protein um, and they're a little bit softer, which is good if you have, you know, if you have a hamster that needs that type of uh, food like our butter does. Um, and that was actually suggested to us. Mm, I have hiccups. That was actually suggested to us by one of our subscribers. So we tried it and huge hit. All of them like it, um, but butter in particular, in particular really uh, benefits from scrambled eggs. Those are like our main go-to uh, treats that you would just like have. Uh, oh, another one, um, going back to fruit, is banana. Uh, Rocky, in particular, loves banana. Um, not all of our hamsters do, um, but Rocky, like, every time um, we, like, mush up bananas for banana bread, we'll give her a little bit of the mushed banana. Every time she'll come out and have a little bit of banana. It's so cute. Um... Uh, if I have like footage of that, I'll put it here um, so you can see that, but... You gotta give a little bit to the sous chef. Definitely. Definitely. Look at her eye. So cute. Um, that is a great segue into easy, easy treats um, that you could make with things that you probably already have at home um, for your hamsters. So one of them is uh, banana oat balls. Uh, the video is up here. Uh, another one that we like that does include like hamster food um, is uh, mealworm oat balls. Uh, I kid you not, like Patch like ran out. Patch is like our pickiest eater. Patch smelt this thing and came out in a minute, like under 60 seconds, which is wild because trying to get Patch to come out is like trying to get a teenager to come out of their room okay it's like a nightmare um but everybody liked those uh and again it was like we have mealworms because like mealworms are a great like um they, they would probably be the one exception i would make because i don't even consider them a snack but like or a treat those would be the one thing that i would suggest everybody buys for their hamsters as snacks or treats oh if you have yogurt, okay, so you know how you can get those, like, yogi treats? Listen, you could just get yogurt. Like, plain, unflavored, like, organic yogurt. And that is the equivalent. Um, it's fatty, so you wouldn't want to be giving it, like, we would never give yogurt to our chunky, chunky boy gamer. <laughs> Um, but for Butter, who needs to be putting on weight, uh, we'll give yogurt to, uh, occasionally. Um, but it's, again, something that, like, we already buy. In general, it's just, you can save money by using the stuff you have at home, uh, and you can, like, also improve your hamster's health their treats. Let's demonstrate my point that you have stuff in your kitchen that you can use. Because if I have it, there's a solid chance that you're going to have some of these things. If you've seen the size of our kitchen. So let's jump into that. Okay, so into our kitchen. <laughs> uh, look, bananas. Bam, we make banana bread a lot. Uh, <laughs> so we've got bananas to use as treats. In here, eggs <laughs> for scrambled eggs. Uh, we've also got de -de -de -de. this is the if you have a baby, you might have some of this organic carrot puree, carrots and water thing. Um, we also have fruit. I just saw it. Yeah. Strawberries, also a, a fan fave. Um, 
And we've got currently, what do we got? Got yogurt in there. Oh yeah, here's yogurt. Yogurt. Uh, and we've got carrots. Um, and for some of the uh, recipes that I mentioned, here they are. Oats. Um, water. Um, and you can use like regular flour if you want to get like freaking fancy. Use like healthy flour. You probably don't have those. I mean, maybe you do because you eat better than us, but we didn't until we started making these freaking recipes. But we have those as well. But like, what a waste of money. Uh, <laughs> anyone that tells you to use buckwheat, none of our hamsters, we have four of them. Not one likes buckwheat. Buckwheat anything. No bueno. <laughs> um, spelt, they're okay with. Um, but do not waste your money on stupid buckwheat flour. I hate buckwheat flour. I hate it. I hate it. Um, can, is there anything else that you think of? That's what you got? So yeah, I mean, that's like, why spend more money than you need to when you probably have at least like one of these things in your house? Like why? So if you have any uh, other foods that you just have around the kitchen that your hamsters really enjoy, that are like safe for hamsters, please, please, please leave them in the comment section down below um, and we'd be happy to test them out on our hamsters um, and we'll let you know what they think about them. Anyhow, that's my little uh, hamster treat trick. Um, just don't buy them. Uh, if you found this video to be helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of our content, hamster or otherwise, click, click, <laughs> click subscribe, ding the bell button to know when we post, which is every day. But most importantly, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!